Mark GT last updated 11.53, September 22, 2017 Kerry Mountcastle made the New Zealand team for next month's Big Asia Pacific Amateur as the country's eighth-ranked golfer. Kerry Mountcastle's boss could hardly say no when he requested five weeks off work. The Masterton electrician had a good excuse his chase for a golden ticket into the Masters and Open Championship in his own backyard. Mountcastle's build up to the Asia Pacific Amateur Championship at Royal Wellington from October 26, 29, which carries Amateur Golf's ultimate prize, get serious in the 72 hole Wellington struck a play at Shandon this weekend. One of New Zealand's top chances at the Asia Pacific Amateur on his home course, Daniel Hillier will contest the Wellington Straka play at Shandon this weekend. Hess not expecting miracles in the 72 hole tournament after working 10 hour days, but he'll soon down tools to test drive life as a full time golfer for the next month. Redmore and Zach Spirit and Masters chase 10 New Zealand golfers named for a pack headline co staying level headed Lydia's here. Let's play. We have been very busy at work, which has put a halt to things. I work 7.30 till 5 or 6, and getting out and practicing has been quite hard. I've not been getting any time on the course, Mountcastle said. Secondring New Zealand amateur Ryan Chisnell returns to the capital for the Wellington Straka play. My boss was very understanding, he said do it, while you are young, and have an opportunity. Mountcastle, 22, earned his spot in the APAC by being a Thias New Zealander on the world rankings, when the 10 local spots were confirmed last month. The APAC winner receives automatic entry to Augusta and Carnoustie next year. He soared up the list with a third placing against the pros in the Taranaki Open last October after being the 54-hole leader, then was runner-up to Mark Hudson in the New Zealand Straka play at Hastings in March. Gabrielle Pilato won last year's Wellington Straka play in the wet and will chase three in a row at Shandon this weekend. In between he was part of Wellington's national interprovincial victory and his teammate Ben Slavin got the credit for his hot streak. It won a couple of tournaments early in the year which builds up the confidence. Then I played the Wellington Straka play last year and played pretty average and a mate said something that made a little change to my swing and I started hitting the ball quite well. I went to Taranaki full of confidence and went with it. Hell returned to Taranaki for the Charles Tour event on October 12th as his final APAC lead-up still carrying the self-belief from a year previous. It was huge. I know that I can do it now and if I get into a position I can do it again. Hopefully by the time I've played a few tournaments and the two Charles Tour events, I will have full faith in my game and come into this flying. Mountcastle will tee off in the feature group on Saturday at 8.26 a.m. and 12.56 p.m. with fellow APAC hopefuls Ryan Chisnell and Daniel Hillier. Chisnell, ranked second in the country behind Usbis Nick Folk, brings three other Tasman reps with him across Cook Strait, while the best of Manawatu Wanganui and Hawks Bay make up a strong field. Recently crowned national UNDER 19 champion Miko Thompson is one of the Hawks Bay contingent. Third ring Tillier and rep captain John O'Kane head the list of local contenders along with Mount Castle. A small field for the women's event is headed by Wellington No. 1 Gabrielle Pilato who is chasing three in a row in the absence of Osmus Julianne Alvarez who is back in New Zealand, but saving herself for next week's New Zealand Women's Open in Auckland. The 2014 champion Brittany Hodge is among four Manawatu Wanganui women's reps making the trip down State Highway 1. The final round tees off around noon on Sunday. The Dominion Post.